Welcome to Good Mythical More. Walmart's trying to one up some famous things, and um, turns out some of them are really good at it. They taste just as good. We're gonna find out. Let's find out. But first, freeze frame. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows what they do with it? We're at their mercy. Yeah, it's it, what they say. They just, sorry. Gwyneth, come on in here. Welcome Gwyneth from Sport. Gwyneth! Gwyneth's over there. Uh, Hi. Tasting the future. Yeah. You feel like you're tasting the future exactly. sometimes? Exactly, yes. Or, All or the time. Sometimes tasting the um, the alternatives. There's so many options. Yeah. Have we ever talked about where your name comes from? Um, I don't think that we have, no. Well, give but us I, a story on to... Gwyneth the name. Okay, so G Gwyneth um, is a oh. province oh. in Wales, but it's spelled with two Ds at the end. You're making this up. No. <laughs> Gwyneth I would have come up with, with two something D's. better. Yeah. We love Wales. Okay. Wales is great. So um, my parents just found it on a map. And oh, then, they're not from there. And no, no. And we mispronounce it, which really irks people who are from Wales. It's, not a lot of people. So, don't worry about it. Yeah. It's, so it's, it's not true. that my entire life every Gwyn has been a Gwynedd. No. I think that I'm I'm there aren't a lot of Gwynedd. Have you ever place. visited Gwyneth? No. Should we go? No. Oh. Um, yeah, we should go. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Oh my god, you changed your mind. I changed so fast. my mind because I saw the look on your face. <laughs> Okay. I said no. So I looked up. I hate doing that to you. Uh, so you know what the originals taste like. Okay. So yeah, we have Thin Mints, and then we have um, the Great Value. Great Value. Version have you come? Have you come around? Because you were talking about how you come around to chocolate and mint together recently. Let I me have you, a Thin Mint. Heard you talking about that. I'm trying. I'm trying to, to open up my world. Some too. of the best of what the Girl Scouts have to offer. Yeah, people love Thin Mints, but the thing about Thin Mints is that you can only get them for like what a month a year. Those girls. That's what makes cookies special. together. These things are stuck. Okay. See, I'm afraid if the these girls are just been sticking good, together, <laughs> that the girl. This is undercutting Girl Scouts. It is. Wal I know. Walmart, Walmart should feel bad. Walmart trying. They're trying to just put. Put every mom and pop and girl out of business. Mm -hmm. Girl bosses. Wow. All right. So I tasted the original. Well done. Right? Well done. I mean, I think. It's a little less crispy. Mm -hmm. A little less crispy, but it has like a really nice coating. Basically it the so, same. It tastes so good. I think we, my oh, so we um, compared like several Girl Scout cookies to um, their great value versions. Um, Did they nail it every time? Because they had like a Samoa's one and a few of them. Oh. Yeah, they were all really good, but these we like especially, we thought these were like better. Did than they have mints. the peanut butter, the tag-alongs? Mm. Tag tag-alongs? Tag-alongs. <clears throat> I don't think so. If I oh. was a girl. I can't remember, I'm sorry. Uh, what I would do. <laughs> if I was a girl. I would <sighs> go to, to, to Walmart. Mm -hmm. I'd take these out, pop them out, mm -hmm. real careful like. Share them with all my girlfriends. <laughs> I'd put your fellow these scouts. in there, mm -hmm. put them in there, seal it back up, sell them for a profit. Mm -hmm. It can be That's done. So smart. And yeah. you can sell them year round. You can be the one Girl Scout that's selling them year round. Mm -hmm. Just keep the boxes or 3D print the boxes. There or just go. print the boxes. Just print the boxes. <laughs> I don't think it needs to be 3D. I mean. 3D printing sounds way cooler though. So um, if you have a hankering for these and it's not that time of year. It's a way dang, to get is, Girl Scout cookies They're just all called year Fudge long. Mint. Yeah, that's fudge not a great mint. name, but what can you do? Oh, how do the Girl Scouts feel about this? They got, are you gonna not sell in the Walmart parking lot anymore and just protest? Uh, I mean. That's what I'd be doing. Maybe, yeah. They should be big mad, but I don't know if they are. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think they could get big mad. Yeah. It, it could happen. Yeah. Which one we, let's go with another one. I've got just a mustard. How about that for a change? Just, okay. yeah, just a mustard. A gray just poupon. A mustard. Imitation. Um, Do you guys yes. these are use also. gray poupon in your waking lives? I know you drink about it. <laughs> gray poupon is going to taste a little bit strong uh, straight up. Yeah. So it's great on a sandwich. 
A Dijon. A Dijon. It's good, but I think that this It's for it's for rich people. It is. Could you pass the grape upon? Mm, that's nice. That's real nice. Mm. Okay. What kind of mustard do what they What a eat? horrible name. Eaten whales. Okay. Gray is not an appetizing <laughs> wor- color to say. Poupon. Poupon. Yeah, don't think too much about it. Gray Poupon. <laughs> it's made with white wine. Uh, this isn't bad, but if you do them side by side, this is a little stronger. So we actually really. Oh, what happened? You might Ooh, actually you the juice. You so might prefer that one if you if you if you like that. Sorry. But I don't. I like the smoother taste of grape poupon. Okay, so we actually preferred this one because of the stronger taste. Okay. You just get you're getting more mustard for your money. You are getting more mustard. Like I said, if you like this kind of mustard, it's you're like, getting more of it. It's like it's too, a great value. It's more wasabi ish esque. It's, it's aggressive, but I think it's. <laughs> Pretty tasty stuff. So this one didn't match it. This one one-upped it. Yeah, we thought so. It's yeah, because good. every time I eat there's nothing great bad about it. Like, it's just I mean, I'd like it, more. You can make it go twice as far. Yeah, because you do half as much. I feel like we do like aggressive mustards over it sporked. <clears throat> it's kind of a thing about us. I'm mustard is something that I'm slowly up expanding my life to include more mm-hmm. of. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I definitely acknowledge that there's nothing better on a um, uh, hot dog. No, not a uh, corn dog. Nothing yeah. better on a corn dog than like a nice pungent mustard. Yeah, it's complimentary. And then from there, like a like a run of the mill sandwich, mm-hmm. just a nice little layer of mustard, is something that I used to not do. I used to just good. go full hard on the mayonnaise. Ooh, yeah, you gotta, I like you, gotta balance, that. you gotta balance yeah. out mayonnaise. I yeah. like mustard and mayonnaise. So Please in my don't. in my age, I think I'm becoming a mustard. I'm getting coming around to mustard everybody, and mint and chocolate. Well, yeah. everybody that goes was yours. Through, I'm throwing it away. Everybody okay, goes through a you mustard can, puberty. Yeah. And it just depends on how old you are when you go through it. You went you're a late mustard bloomer. Aww, yeah. I love cute. mustard at like yeah. three. Now I've got so much mustard energy built up. Like, where am I going to blow that? <laughs> everywhere. My mustard hormones mustard were everywhere when now. I was a kid. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go to one that I'm excited about. Queso. Tostitos con queso, medium. And then just the great value. Boy, they, they make their, their labels lame on purpose. I mm-hmm. think to just show... This is cheap. It's cheap, yeah. <laughs> this is what it is. Yeah. yeah. And don't take they, any time. They could on make a better design. They could make a better lo- label if they wanted to. Yeah, but they are keeping things now look affordable. At, it's the Tostitos is a lot more orange. Fun chat. Which kind of makes me think I'm in nacho territory mm-hmm. only. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Tostitos is great. Wow. I'm trying to get There's out. really no reason to get Tostitos if, if you I got mean, access to that. It's so like, I don't know, it's creamier and it's like peppery. I think more peppery than the Tostitos. And less nacho-y. Yeah, maybe like- In a, a good way. Yeah, like a less aggressive and salty flavor or something. It's really good, right? It's better. See? Is it better to your taste? It's got more flavor. Yeah. It's not quite as spicy, is it? Maybe that's the one thing about Tostitos that I like a little bit mm-hmm, more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm sure you could get you could probably get the great it. value you spicy could dial version. It in. What about the displays? Maybe. What a great value. Maybe. What about the displays? Love great values. I think Tostitos, they're getting a lot of mileage out of that. Almost having to walk around them when you're walking into the store. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you'll just be walking, and then all of a sudden they've got a whole thing that they've built that's kind of out there, and you have to kind of move around it. Like, like an end cap kind of thing. Yeah, like they're like man display. spreading in the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, but not just an end cap, but like something that sticks out into the aisle mm-hmm. a little bit. Tostitos is it's is, aggressive. Is queso spreading, <laughs> and it's the chips too, right? Their yeah. whole thing. And they put this in the aisle with their mm-hmm. chips. I will say Tostitos makes a white version of this, and it's really good. 
This was all from, we tasted all these for our best queso ranking. Okay. That's on spork.com. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, it is. There's a search bar. <laughs> Anything that you like, search it there and see if there's something that you could like even more. Or to see if your opinions are validated and line up with the sports crew. That's the that's the game I play sometimes. That's so fun. Yeah, so I love games. It's just a, it's a powerful tool. Yeah. Let's just and it's some, free to use. Let's see steak sauce com. straight. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, you, yeah. How are we so gonna do this? Are you, are you thinking about going to Gwyneth? Like, have you thought about it? Like, do you know it? Like, at some point. Yeah. Before you pass. Yeah. If I said no, <laughs> you can still God. go. <laughs> you, you, you'll organize a trip a to go list. and be like, "This is my name. This is my town. This yeah. is my place." I would be super annoying about it too, and tell everyone. And <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, and do like a okay. vlog series. And you, but would you say your name like the town when you were there, so you didn't have to have that conversation? I would say it the way I say it. I oh. think, and then okay, and that. then. Everyone, yeah, and let everyone be mad at me. Just let them just deal like, with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, live with it. Is what I'd say to all the Welshmen. <laughs> Welshmen everywhere. <laughs> I what just a weird don't. Spoon. I just don't. I don't have a place in my life for a one. Christy, I've said it. I'll say it again. She loves this on a steak, mm -hmm. and if I that means you're not doing a good job with steaks. I know. Just so you understand. It ain't just me. It's just it's just, it's just something that she grew up doing. Okay. I'm not it's not she bad it. on a bad piece of meat. I yeah. You know what she'll true. do? There's a burger you can get at Cookout that has um ooh, A1 on it. It's a steakhouse burger. I think that's a good I think that's a good call actually. I think A1 on a burger. I think mm -hmm. it's Swiss cheese, onions and um A1 steak sauce. Tangy. It's a good taste. Mm -hmm. It's such a weird taste. But steak doesn't need it. Yeah. No, I know. Burger, yes, I agree. Um, okay, Classic so this steak is, sauce is just what they call it. I know. I feel like this label is like especially oh, bobo looking. It's a little thinner. It's it a little look, lighter. It looks more like Heinz 57. I love oh, we Heinz, had Heinz 57. 57. I forgot but not Heinz totally 57. Heinz 57. It's so good. Heinz 57 is a lot thicker than A1 and a lot oranger, I believe. Heinz 57 was my go-to. Mm. I forgot about the whole bottle. So it's very different. It, these are, it's different than A1, but. It's more subtle. It's more, more subtle. saucy and subtle. It's not as. I don't like the aftertaste as much. Mm -hmm. But I mean, what, is it like half the price or something? It's cheap, yeah, but it also, I don't know, I think it has like almost like a more like sophisticated flavor than A1. A1's like really hits you in the face with that. A1 has more bite. Tang, yeah. Yeah. And if this you, is if like you, If you almost nuanced. like A1, but it's just a bit too much for you, then get the great mm. value. And let me tell you, it'll be a great value. It says perfect for all cuts of meat, but I think it should say perfect for not that great cuts I of know. meat. I think the only Liars. way that I would discover and taste this if I didn't have this existence mm -hmm. and this experience with you, mm -hmm. Gwyneth did, did mm -hmm. is staying at like an Airbnb. You know how there's like- and they left it in the fridge door? They strip everything out and yeah. then there's like a couple of things in the pantry. There's like some garlic salt and some knockoff steak sauce. Yeah. And then like a can of oats for some reason. <laughs> right. And somebody gets like top round, uh, you know? I'm saying it's just like not a great cut of meat. And they make steaks out of it. <laughs> okay. And you're like, I'm going to put this on it. <gasps> yeah, exactly. Or, or your wife is there. Yeah. Um, but this is also. I just we, don't know how to respond to this. Top <laughs> yeah, 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 right. <laughs> like, well, I'm out of my depth. Yeah, right. Yes, don't use either of these on good steaks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, the deal that we're making. I, I mean, I don't like putting sauce on meats in general, really. <laughs> There's very, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. People will ruin a good brisket with, with sauce too. Yeah, no, that's true. Like when you go to a barbecue place yeah, and it's yeah, sauced yeah, yeah, and you're yeah, just yeah, like, right. why'd you do that? Pre sauced. Uh, yeah. That's an insult. It's an insult to me as a North How Carolina. How did you rude? Uh, that, I'm really excited about this one, but I want to ask you a, a personal slash logistical question. Okay. With all the food that you're tasting over there yeah. at, at Sport. Like, do you have a similar experience to us, which is like, if we have, if we shoot an episode that's like, if we're just chowing down on a bunch of stuff, mm -hmm. at, a, at a certain point we'll lean over to each other and say, this is it for me today. Yes. Like, I don't, I don't, I'll, I won't eat dinner. I frequently wind up feeling like upset. 
about how much I ate <laughs> oh. in a day. And I but leave you, work and I cry. No, you don't. <laughs> well, no, no, no. <laughs> no, that's don't, not true. Don't make, it a, don't make it a sad story. I, it's kind of a treat that I get to eat all the stuff I eat, but then I'm like, okay. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not hungry for dinner now. No, exactly. Um, I'm not weeping or anything. Okay. I cry I mean, only a little I love bit. my job. I don't weep. I just do you, you know, stop like crying. One, do you stop crying here. by the time you get home. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is yeah. only you don't share it with anybody at home. And then my husband like makes me eat dinner, and I'm just like, no, I can't do it. Yeah. I, and Chris, you just weep and like force mashed potatoes into your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Chrissy yeah. knows when we're shooting the show. I'm not coming. She's not counting on me to eat the dinner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There was oh, a yeah. there was a while there where it was like, I would take her off guard and be like, I just can't. I'll sit at dinner, but I just can't. I'll sit here and watch and say nothing. <laughs> yeah, and just like, stare well, at you kinda, while you eat. I kind of put some thought into making this, is what she said. And I yeah. was like, well, okay, well, let's coordinate a little bit more. Yeah. And now we figured that out. Now, we I did a beef burrito taste test recently. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I had, you know, it's like over the course of the taste test, I'm probably only eating like one full burrito, honestly. But uh, it's hard to tell. I just, yeah, I just really wound up with heartburn and wanted to die. That's Let's a go hard back to something positive. To tell me how yeah. much you love these chips. Um, these are good. That's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> I freaking good. love these. Do you these love chips. them? Okay. These are my second favorite chip. Okay. Behind the cheddar sour cream ruffle. So. I haven't tasted these head to head in a while, but my recollection is it's that so what you're gonna find here is like even more sour cream and onion flavor and more potato flavor than you're getting from Lay's. You saying it's better? Tell me what you think. That's quite a promise. Wow, it's very different. They're very different. Almost a fruity. No, this ain't fruity. I know what you're saying. <laughs> I think it's the I think it's the onion. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, like maybe like a sweeter onion kind of flavor. Sweeter. But great value potato mm. chips, I promise, are very good. Like we had the sour cream and onion ones the other day, and we were all like, whoa, these are all That's these. If you just got me these <laughs> salt and vinegar. <laughs> if you got these at a party. I, pro- I would I would not know that I wasn't eating these until I had these side by side. I think I would. Okay, but these like cost a nickel for sure. Yeah. The mad they're good, but the magic's not there. Okay. So I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I, I got to go back. I can't win them all, but yeah, I really like these. These almost taste bland after you go to those. I really love them. You know what I'm saying? Good crunch and there's so much a good happening there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's too much happening, Gwyneth. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. they are good though. I'm so sorry. But you just can't you can't beat the second best chip on the planet. Okay. With a great value. You There's too much to that's ask. Fair. But There's too much to ask. Set myself up for a loss here. Some people I I just think that's that when one. you it's different enough that some people will prefer it. Like Gwyneth. Like me. No, I do think yeah, I like the quality of that chip a lot. Why don't you I do, I do. go to Wales? Okay. And you wear an outfit. One half of it is this color green, and the other half of it is this color green. So they're actually really close. Okay. And you hold this bag in that hand, and this bag in that hand, and you just you went, you don't say Try anything because you don't speak Welsh. You have a sign written in Welsh, or maybe mm-hmm. you have one of those collars like the dog and up. Okay. So that anything you say is no automatically is said going. in Welsh. <laughs> and you say, I am Gwynedd, I am visiting, I am named after this place. Tell me which ones of these chips you like better. That's pretty much what I do when I go on vacation. Oh. Anywhere. Oh. You're yeah. trying to you're trying to make all of her vacations work trips? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Drumming hard. Get to work, Gwynedd, in <laughs> Wales. <laughs> okay. See you when I get back from Wales. All right. Have a great time. Thanks. <laughs> Spork just found all the best Walmart foods you should be buying instead of the expensive name brand stuff. So head on over to spork.com for the full rankings.